Elliot Kelly representing Hibero Jiu Jitsu and Vinicius Ferreira, aka Tractor of Alliance out of Marcelo Garcia's Academy. Now on the left is Elliot Kelly. On the right is Vinicius Tractor. Early guard pull for Tractor. This should be exciting. Kelly, a very good wrestler, very strong, very physical grappler, but Tractor, really something special. Pan Nogi champion a couple months ago. Definite. Uh, a force to be reckoned with in the no-gi game. Yeah, I was very surprised he made it the final video to see. I mean, it was a stacked division. Right. And he beat Vinny, lost to Gordon in the final, you know, and I think that we're going to be seeing him a lot more in the next few years. You know? Oh, 100%. I mean, to be honest, I think this is Alliance's number one super heavyweight right now. He's yeah. uh, an extremely uh, reliable competitor. Yeah, and young too. He's just got his black yeah. belt. We've got many years ahead of him. We will be seeing him for many, many years now. So hard to score on him. He's. Uh... Oh, there's a nice dummy sweep attempt. That's just Marcelo Garcia 101 right there. I call it the, 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 the push force. Nice transition there by Trator. Or force push, I'm sorry. <laughs> Opposite. I get my Star Wars history right. <laughs> Kelly a little hesitant to go forward into the guard of Trator right now. Just looking for his openings, but... I will say this, though. If I had to choose between being on top of Trator and underneath him, I'd much rather be on top. Much rather be on top, 100%. He is a phenomenal... He's a force to be reckoned with when he's on top. He's practically immovable. He is about as rock solid as you can possibly see. You almost never see him get swept. And a beautiful movement from bottom. Look at that dexterity from bottom as well, though. He's a showing that, using that <laughs> foot in the back of the shin. Score a sweep. Gonna get the back, very close. Hands connected, second hook goes in. Nope, not Almost. yet. Actually no hooks in, but he's got that seatbelt grip. Dangerous territory for Elliot Kelly. Yeah, good seatbelt. Elliot cannot let go of that foot, otherwise Trator's gonna come up. He's gotta keep it there, he's gotta try to get to his knees. And Trator with the hooks now. Not following through. we get another advantage for that. And it's going to get difficult for Elliot Kelly. And he's forced okay, to engage. Penalty against Elliot Kelly for, yeah, not engaging. But look, what's ha look what happens when he does. When he goes forward, then Tractor has proved that he's extremely dangerous. And there he goes. Similar movement one more time. Inverting underneath with that leg. He's wow, I'm, improved. I'm so impressed by his movement, Robert. Yes, for someone with his build, it's unusual how mobile he is. Normally, you have that sort of build, you're going to be like pretty much only a top, top player, maybe a half guard player on bottom, right? Deep half guard. But he's a phenomenal guadero, yeah, yeah. as they like to say in Portuguese. He inverts really well, no doubt. And Kelly trying to improve his position there, maybe get to a half guard. I'd be off my knees if I were him. Prefer to pass standing, but you know, again, Vinicius Trator uh, inverts really well, so maybe that's what he's trying to prevent. See if he can get to a half guard instead. Yeah, to be honest, you give him a little bit of space. If you go in standing, it's a it's a big risk because he is um, he's so good at inverting. I think the only thing you could hope to do is try and flatten him out and um, and try and just bypass that guard completely but man that's easier said than done no doubt and yeah Trattori is just like one of those guys very complete I think when his wrestling goes up the next level I think that he'll be a, a force in, to 
to reckon with because he's like I said, he's young, he's got tons of potential, he's been doing incredibly well considering he just got his black belt. Right, make it to the finals of all the major Nogi events of the year, right? Pan Ams, ADCC, and now Nogi Worlds. That's very significant. Not a lot of people have done that. In fact, he might be the only one who made it to the final of all three major events. Elliot Kelly, it's an interesting tactic of stepping on the foot there. Just bothering Trato a little bit. Definitely takes away some of his weapons. Trying to pin anything he can to the floor, but he needs to go forward. And going forward against Trato, it's, it's no secret what Trato wants. He loves getting in underneath, but... Yeah, I would be, if I were Elliot, I'd be trying to flatten him out more, like picking up his ankles and then maybe trying to get chest to chest from there. Or maybe double unders. Yeah, he's doing a really good job on that one. Goes straight into that 50 50. Looks Elliot like keeps he's got the double leg control as well. This makes it even more difficult for Elliot to but move. You see his legs and get to an attacking position. Is Elliot's right arm is inside the inside of Trattor's legs, and what that does, it makes a tip, the 50-50 never gets a good bite when that arm is in there, right? It's a way of like creating enough space for you to pull your leg out. It's exactly what he's doing now. Let's see if he goes to the back from here. Oh, knee bar, it's set, back to 50-50. Oh, wow. Yeah. He gets in that position so easily. He really does. He's so good at inverting in underneath. Anytime Elliot Kelly goes forward. And just... Over three minutes left here in this fight. Vinicius with three advantages. Andrew Kelly, one advantage, one negative. Tough position, but everything can change. All he's got to do is get to side control. Yeah, you can see Vinicius almost like what pulls himself in. He wants Elliot moving in. You can see Elliot pushing himself away. He doesn't want to go into that guard. You can see him like... Vinicius with his left arm pulling he knows himself how in. dangerous it is. Yeah, Elliot now front headlock. That could be an option. That's a that could work. It's like Elliot like doesn't seem to know what's the the correct path to take here, right? Because every time he pushes forward, Trator gets underneath him. Yeah, Elliot Kelly really doesn't seem to have any answers no. for the techniques that the Tractor is employing here. And there's a nice sweep onto the guillotine as well. Let's see if Tractor can finish it. Got to get on his hip. Nice defense there by Elliot. Yeah, Elliot Kelly rips his head out. No advantage for that guillotine. I was actually talking to the referees a couple of months ago asking why they are so inconsistent with issuing or advantages or awarding advantages for uh, for guillotines and they said it really has to be on it really has to be on for it to be worth a guillotine uh, sorry worth an advantage and uh, well, I think sometimes it can look like it's on but it's yeah not, right? I think a lot of competitors they, they have this thing or well, if you got the triangle or the guillotine you got the advantage and that's not how it works the criteria is was he uh, the other uh, competitor in danger? Was he almost tapping, I guess, the criteria, right? Because it, unless it's a near submission, just because you have a submission doesn't mean you actually get the advantage. And if at least he can get oh, up there, he's nice. Tractor, now that's it. That's the position that he's wanted all along. He gets that reversal, gets on top. And now I think you'll see the tractor drive forward. Yeah, this is 
exactly where he's strongest, in my opinion, is just that top position. And Elliott's going to have to open, too. He can't keep it close. He's out of, really, out of options here. He's got to open and play a very loose, open guard game. Because if he decides to hold, he's going to lose his fight. He's got 50 seconds to do something. 2-0 in favor of the Alliance Black Belt. 40 seconds remaining. And there he is, passing to that right side. Like you said earlier, Robert tends to be the weaker side for most people. So good at driving forward, and there he goes. Kelly doing a good job of... Uh, Recovering. Yeah, but... The steam lock, tap, verbal tap. Beautiful wow. steam lock. Oh, that went on fast. Uh, yeah. It looks like there was a knee injury for Elliot Kelly. Yeah, he's got a bad knee. He did not hang around with that one. A submission finish for Vinicius Trator Ferreira in the final of the Super Heavyweight Division to be crowned the 2019 Nogi World Champion. What, what a season, huh? Yeah, Trator. amazing, amazing. season. Amazing. I mean, that esteem log that he slapped on, it was fast, but definitely compounded by the fact that Elliot's Ke Elliot Kelly's knee does seem to be injured. Yeah, I think he, was, he already had a bad knee, and then it just, you know, exacerbated the, the existing injury. But almost a flawless, I mean, missing out the ADCC. Other than that, it was a flawless season for Trator. Props to him.